I still know when I'm done school um, until September, I decided I'm going to have more time to make my videos. So this one is going to be another educational one. Nothing about my life, really. Um, like, nothing personal about my life, but more about, like, CP. So, which one thing you guys need to know is that, um, hmm, we, just because someone has CP doesn't mean they can't be successful or be independent people. I live by myself, basically. I have people that come here for two hours in a day to make sure when I get in the shower that I don't fall and that I can get dressed fast without getting tired. That's pretty much it. Oh, and laundry and mopping and vacuuming, because if you tried to do that in a wheelchair, you'd fall right out. Trust me, I tried. <laughs> Doesn't really work. Also, not cerebral palsy is not a disease. It's not going to make me sicker. Um, well, not the disability itself, but some of the complications, I guess you could call them, would make me sicker, such as blood clots and whatnot, as I already had those and I last summer, but that was not my fault. So, yep. Um, another thing about um, CP that y'all should know is that it's different for everyone. M me, myself, I am, um, there's nothing mentally wrong with me. I'm still smart. I still want, well, we're all smart, but I, I have mental capability to do certain things, like college, and I want everything everybody else has, like boyfriends, kids, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, just because you have CP doesn't mean you have a learning disability. You can, though. Some, sometimes that happens. Um, um, Hmm. What? Oh, um, CP, it doesn't affect your life expectancy more than just living your daily life. So, I could die to, uh, at a young age, but that won't have anything to do with CP at all. It'll just be accident or some other, um, something else, but it won't be due to CP. I could live to be 90, and that would just be... Because that's how that happens, and that's kind of in my family genetics. CP has nothing to do with um, your, I mean, your age and how long you live has nothing to do with CP. Um, what else now? Um, people um, with CP won't be successful or anything. Um, that is a total bullshit myth, because... I plan to be a successful marketer. I'm going into my third year of marketing in September, as most of you guys know, because this is going to go on my Facebook. So that doesn't mean you can't go to college. You can't do this. You Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't try it first. If you can't, if you tried and it didn't work so well, then that's fine. But don't ever just listen to somebody say you can't and then not try. That's the number one thing you should, um, do. Um... Another thing is appreciate everything that you guys do, um, even if it's just like going to the bathroom or taking a shower or getting into bed because even though it doesn't bother me much because I've done it for 20, well, 17 years because until I was three, my parents helped me with all that, um, um, yeah, um, don't take that shit for granted really because it takes um, a lot more effort for someone with CP to do it than for you just to, you know, get up, walk to the um, bathroom and get in, hop in the shower. Um, for me, I have to wheel my chair in the bathroom, get out of my chair, which I'm in a loaner chair right now, so it's a lot harder to do because it's not made for me and it's a lot taller. I have to sit on my toilet um and then I have to take everything off which takes like forever if I am by myself and then I have to sit on the seat in the shower and then swing my legs in so as you can tell that's a lot more effort than you guys just taking off your clothes in two seconds and hopping in the shower not to get like graphic or anything but that's how even though that's not that graphic but 
yeah, that's how that goes. Um, another thing is that most people, um, with a disability like cerebral palsy, um, don't like to be called inspirations because that makes it, people with CP and stuff feel different. And I don't feel any different other than the fact that I have to do stuff a little bit different <laughs> um, than you guys. But I don't think anything that I do is inspirational just because it takes me a bit more work. It makes me feel proud of what I can do. But I'm not, I don't think I'm an inspiration and that bothers me because I don't. It makes me seem like it's, like, not normal. Um, another thing that I got a lot when I was younger, not so much now, is that, oh, you're pretty for someone in a wheelchair. I have no fucking idea what that means. CP, um, has nothing, well, depending on the severity of CP, it, it doesn't affect your looks. And being told that I'm pretty for a girl in a wheelchair is very self, very damaging to someone's self-esteem uh, so don't ever say that and um let's see oh i can do all the normal adult activities that a normal 20 year old woman does so yeah that's not a problem so don't go, people don't need to assume that either also um hmm also, um, it, I, if you see someone, um, in the grocery store and their child looks a little older, like three, and they're in the, a shopping cart instead of walking, don't yell at the parents, because that happened to my mom when I was three, so that was 17 years ago. Somebody yelled at her because I w wasn't walking. They're like, shouldn't she be walking by now? So don't assume stuff, because you could really hurt the the kid or the parents feeling when they then when they know they can't walk and you have to point it out. Also, for the ones that can walk with a, um braces or a walker or crutches or canes or without anything at all, when they when we try and walk, it it is a lot more effort. So um and. And when I do walk, my whole foot goes underneath my walker, so it looks funny. So, if you see someone walking slow, um, or, um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? If you see someone walking slow, it looks funny. Don't laugh at them either, because you don't know what their story is. You don't know anything about them, so, and at least they're trying. At least they didn't give up once they, um, at least their parents let them try walking when they found out they had CP and things like that. So, um, don't do that. Um, one more thing I wanted to talk about was, um, yeah, um, it had something to do with walking, but I don't remember. Oh, um, yeah, um. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, it had to do um with my with um muscle spasms and stuff. Like CP is a can be a very painful condition due to muscle spasms in the hand, back, or legs. Um, mine are usually in my legs and it hurts like hell. Um, to the point where sometimes if I'm drinking or eating, like it's just awful. Like I can't eat any more food because I can't or I can't sleep so muscle spasms are painful and I'm, I try to stop them by concentrating on different things but yes um let's see so my plan is to be a very successful person when I finish school next year and I want a family and I'm and I know that most some people think that people that with um, CP and other disabilities cannot lead independent lives and cannot be good parents. Well, that is crap too because I can and I will be. So, this is just my update video um, after months of not doing it. I'm sorry guys. Bye.